Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And you know what this is, right? Week 15 pick video. Wow, well, that's what we're talking about. Now, to recap last week, I was 10 and 6. I was 10 and 6 considering that there were several ridiculous upsets that happened. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think that was last week, right? I believe so. So, yeah, the Saints... The Saints losing, that was, I mean, that was just, but we'll get to the Saints. We'll talk about the Saints when we get to them. But anyway, um, they lost to Philadelphia, didn't they? Yeah. That was ridiculous. I could have been 11 and 5 except for the Saints. But what are you going to do? So anyway, um, we're going into week 15. There's only three weeks left, the 15, the 16, and the 17. And hopefully that'll be it. Hopefully there won't need to be a week 18 because of uh, the virus and kicking teams to a week 18, which the NFL will try to avoid at all costs anyway. So, uh, 10 and 6 last week and 123 and 83 overall, which is a 597 percentage overall I'm getting very close to 60 very close indeed and as a bonus this week there are two Saturday games in addition to the Thursday night game which all of which we will be going over and let me just turn this a little bit here so that I do not have to reach so far to get the helmets because the helmets are back love the helmets so anyway the Thursday night game will be the Chargers at the Raiders. Now, um, got to say, um, I have no idea who's going to win this game. Because the Raiders, you don't know what Raiders are going to show up. You also don't really know what Chargers are going to show up, although we've kind of established that these guys are, are pretty bad. So I am going to go with the Raiders. They have been inconsistent. They have been unreliable. They've been all of that stuff. But these guys are pretty bad. Even with Herbert, they're just not a good team. So the next one, we now we're going to the Saturday games. Two Saturday games. And the first of those is going to be... The Bills at the Broncos. Now, it doesn't take Einstein to figure out that probably you're going to pick the Bills in this one. Although the Chargers, or the uh, the Den Denver Broncos have shown some spunk lately. But, yeah, so let's go with the Bills and get the Broncos out of here. So, yeah, no Broncos. Now, the second game on Saturday will be... The Panthers at the Packers. Oh, wait. Uh, wrong Panthers. All right. Panthers at the Packers. So, um, in this game, I think, it, again, doesn't really take a cognitive thinker to come up with, you're going with the Green Bay Packers on this. Um, we are going to, yeah, definitely go with the Packers. The... Uh, the Panthers, they're a feisty team. They're a feisty bad team. And a feisty bad team is not going to beat the Packers, even on a bad day for the Packers. So uh, that takes us to the Sunday games. And the first Sunday game is going to be the Texans at the Colts. Now, who are you guys going to pick? Yeah, I'm going with the Colts. Let's go with the Colts and that tough defense. And um, 
and these guys who apparently only have Deshaun Watson and a bunch of stiffs. They got Deshaun Watson and the Army of Darkness. That's really what their team is. So I don't see them beating the, uh, the Colts. The next one we got is the Lions at the Titans. The Titans, again, they're one of those teams, you know. They got Derrick Henry, and you think, all right, you got Derrick Henry. You got Tannehill, who's a great game manager. You got this Titan defense. And you think, okay, pretty much every week, we're going to see a really good game from these guys. But we don't. That's the problem. That's the problem I have. So anyway, um, I'm still going to go with the Titans. Let's not, you know, let's not get carried away. You know, back up the ice cream truck. We're still going to go with the Titans. But yeah, I wouldn't be a bit surprised to see them lose to the Lions. Absolutely. I swear I would not be surprised. Too surprised. All right. So now we got... Here's the one we got, and this is the Bears at the Vikes. The Bears at the Vikes. Now, I am done with the situation where I picked the Bears to lose solely to set up a two-win situation because that's not really a two-win situation. Because if they lose, and or if they win, and I picked them to lose, all right, so they win, but they're not going to the playoffs anyway. So I'm, I'm now in the mode where I'm picking what I think the Bears are going to do. And based on the last three weeks, they put up a lot of points in the last three weeks. So I'm going with the Bears. I am going with the Bears over the Vikings. Because these guys, they play bad teams and they barely beat them. They hang on against the Eagles. Come on. So no. I'm not, I'm not going with the Vikings. I mean, you know, it's always, I'm always on the edge of my seat when I'm watching the Viking scores roll in. So, and if the, and if the Bears can score like they, I mean, maybe they found something. Maybe they found the magic formula to score a lot of points. Now, granted, in two of the last three games, the Bears have also allowed a lot of points, which caused them to lose two of the last three. But last week, they, whew, man, they blew, uh, I don't even know who it was, but they blew them right out of the water. 33 points, I think, in the first half. So, yeah, they were, I mean, they were insane yesterday or last week. So, if they can keep that kind of scoring up, the Vikings are not going to beat them. Now, the next one we got is the Washington football team. The Seahawks at the Washington football team. And you know who I'm going with in this one? I'm going with the Washington football team. Yeah. Because the Seahawks, let me tell you about the Seahawks, okay? First of all, they have a crappy defense. Second of all, they have played crappy the last few weeks and they probably cost me like three picks in three weeks i mean this team is just a mess all of a sudden they're a mess they were cruising they were cruising they were cruising they were going to look like they're going to be the nfc champions and then all of a sudden now the wheels are falling off the cart i don't know what's going on with them and in the washington football team man those dudes are coming to play and they got a decent defense. Their defense is not that much of a joke. And, you know, they may actually win the East. Not only win the East, but they might actually win the East with a 500 record. They might be 8-8. Eight and eight. I mean, you know, that's not great for a division winner. But, given, you know, the sad sacks that are in the NFC East, to have a winner be 8-8 eight and eight would be... You know, and let's not pretend that Daniel Snyder wouldn't like that. He would. So the next one, what is the next one? Yeah, that's the next one. The next one we've got is the Patriots at the Dolphins. Man, if you've seen the Dolphins play, they are a hot team. They're a hot, good team. And uh, the Patriots, the Patriots are garbage. Yeah, all of a sudden the Patriots are a bad football team. 
Brady leaves town and whammo. There they go. So yeah, let's go with the Dolphins. I mean, the Dolphins played Kansas City last week, and they were losing. They were losing big, at, like the beginning of the fourth quarter, and they made it a game. They made it a real game, and they picked off um, Mahomes three times. He came into the game in thirteen other games with three interceptions, and then the Dolphins said, "Well, we're going to double that for you right now." So, yeah, the Dolphins, man, I mean, they're going to beat the Patriots. I, I, you know, I hate to tell you, if you're a Patriots fan out there thinking, they're not going to beat the Patriots. Yeah, they are. So the next one we have is the um, Ravens and the Jags. I don't think it takes Einstein to figure out. We're going to go with the uh, Ravens on that one. The Jaguars are, you know, I, you know, I've been giving the the Jaguars kudos, but no, they're they're contending with the Jets for worst team in the history of football. Um, uh, now they're I, they probably aren't going to catch them, but you know, and then there was that Lions team of what was it, two thousand six, two thousand nine, something like that. They were zero and sixteen, but I don't even think that Lions team was as bad as the Jets. But the Jaguars? No. Jaguars are horrible. So, um, yeah. I mean, the Ravens. And, man, what about that Monday night game? Both teams scored. Well, one of the team. I think one of the teams scored in the 40s. It was something like 41 to 38 or something over the Browns. Man. That game. Now, that game cost me one, too. But that was, I mean, at least that one I could say that was a toss-up. You didn't really know who was going to win. I had to pick somebody. The Browns were the hot hand. I went with the Browns, and I came up a field goal short. So now we have the Buccaneers at the Falcons. Now, in this one, I am going to go with the Buccaneers, but it is not a confident going with the Buccaneers. It's like a, oh, yeah, I guess I'll pick the Buccaneers. Because let me tell you, maybe Brady leaving the Patriots was not the problem for the Patriots because he went to these guys and they're just okay. They're just pretty good. They're a pretty good football team. And he's even got his own tight end back. I mean, you know, what else does the guy want? You know, all right, yes, he is 42 years old, so yeah, I'm busting on a 42-year-old guy that's playing a game where everybody's trying to kill him. But, I mean, that's his choice, not mine. So the next one we have is the 49ers at the Cowboys. I am going to go tentatively with the 49ers. Again, the 49ers, some weeks they play like the 49ers of last year that were in the Super Bowl. And then sometimes they play like these guys. And you got to hope, if you're picking the 49ers, you got to hope they don't play like these guys. Because then these guys will beat them. And, uh, yeah. And, and Dallas, I mean, they're not good defensively. Not at all. But they do have one of the better offenses in the league. Although a lot of that was done when Dak was in town and now you just got a collection of stiffs in town behind the behind the line the offensive line so who knows but just for the record there to remind everybody I am going with the 49ers now the next one's the Eagles and the Cardinals now um, I want to say that the Eagles winning last week you might sit there and say, oh, that was Jalen Hurts. That was all Jalen Hurts. No, it was not Jalen Hurts. It was the fact that that Swiss Army Knife guy, Taysom Hill, is not a full-time quarterback. The dude on the Saints. And again, we'll get to the Saints later because they really, they really rubbed me the wrong way. And Sean Payton is an idiot. But what we're going to do here is we're going to go with the Cardinals again. The Cardinals can definitely let me down in this game. Every time I think that um, Kyler Murray is the greatest thing since sliced bread, he shows me I, he's really not that great. You know, 
I mean, one of the things my brother told me about the Cardinals was that they've arrived. All right, well, they arrived, but then they backed out the front door, and now they're going back down the block. They might win that division by default, or because of the fact that the Rams are a little better than everybody expected. And speaking of the Rams, we got the Jets at the Rams. Now, come on. <laughs> Do I really even have to say it? Let's go with the Rams in this one. I mean, if you told me the Rams were putting their practice squad up against these guys, I would, I would say, okay, I'm still going with the Rams. Now, the next one we've got is the Chiefs at the Saints, and here it is. Here's the game, all right? I, and now in this one, you would think all the stuff that I've been saying, you would think I'm going with the Chiefs. But no, I'm not. Because these guys have a fearsome defense, and these guys got picked off three times by the Dolphins and almost lost to the Dolphins. So I don't well, really, that's a, it's a little harsh to say they almost lost to the Dolphins. They pretty much were in control for the whole second half. But they made it close against the Dolphins. And these guys do have a strong defense. They got a nice front four that can come after the quarterback. I, you know, and who knows? Maybe um, Sean Payton came to his senses and has seen that Taysom Hill is not really a quarterback. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? He's a nice jack of all trades guy. He's nice, you know, put him in the slot run them in underneath to catch a couple of passes out of the backfield, you know, maybe run the ball out of the quarterback slot, you know, that kind of cool stuff. He can do that, you know, come in for a few plays and be a great guy like that, you know. You know, he can be like your slash Edelman, Edelman slash, you know, um, Cordell Stewart type of guy, but... He's not a quarterback. I mean, he just isn't. He's not a full-time quarterback. Now, I don't know. Is Breeze coming back? Who knows? Is Peyton, uh, Sean Payton coming to his senses and going to put in Winston, Jameson Winston, who can throw like 50 touchdown passes if he plays an entire season and for 5,000 yards? I don't know. And, you know, I've got a, a lot for the fact that that could happen, too. But basically, the Saints have a really, really good defense. The Chiefs really don't. They let the Dolphins walk all over them. So I, I'm going to go with the Saints, even though, I don't know, I'm not that confident if Taysom Hill is their quarterback. Now, the next one we got is the Browns and the Giants. And based on everything I've seen the last few weeks... Even though the Giants are showing themselves to be a tough, hang-in-there type of a team, I'm still going with the Browns. I mean, the Browns, man, like I said, that Monday night game against the Ravens, I almost wish I'd stayed up to watch it. I just saw the final score when I got up, and my eyeballs nearly rolled out of my head. So, um, you know, I mean, there is that. Now, we're going to the Monday game, and Monday... I don't know who in their infinite wisdom made this a Monday night football game, but it shouldn't be. You got the Steelers at the Bengals, and I'm going to pick the Steelers. Now, and, and I want to say, yeah, the guys that made the schedule couldn't have known that Burrow would not be playing by this time, but still, you don't put the Bengals on Monday night football. I mean... It's just not something you do. So, how did you guys like the picks? What do you think? Uh, you think I got some uh, winners there? You think I got 11 wins in the bag now? It was sounding great, but I could have used a little more cowbell. Like, I mean, looking at this schedule, definitely, if I get 10 right, I'm going to inch up towards 60, probably. If I get 11 right, I'm going to be at 60. Um, if I get 5 right, I'm just going to fall off the cliff. And, you know, with some of these teams, Lord knows, I could get five right. I mean, only five. 
So uh, let me know in the comments below if you're just cruising through and you're looking at all the pics of everybody in the world to see, you know, what pics you need to take to Vegas with you. First of all, don't use mine. And second of all, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. That's really the big thing. And, uh, you know, because it helps me out. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, what I'm, what am I now? Like 23 away? I'm 23 away from a thousand. So, um, as of this recording. Now, you know, 20 people could just all of a sudden subscribe. I guess that could happen. It doesn't generally, though, or really ever. But, um, who knows? So anyway, let me know how you feel. Let me know what your picks are, where you differ with me. But for right now, that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.